Hey guys, Ron Bond, Bondo Build Construction here. I'm gonna try to show you how to broom this patio that we're doing today. Um, it's real windy. It's like, what is it, 40 degrees out today? It's like 35 degrees out today. So we put some uh, accelerant in there, 2%. It's called High Early, which is in the concrete. Has color in it. Um, it's a broom finish, like I said, so we've we fresnoed it, we, we magged the edges, edge the edges, and just kind of show you how we broom these things. Um, and then the timing's pretty critical on it, so I'm gonna try to show you how we time it. The weather today is weird, so real windy too, so stay with us. Thanks for watching. So guys, one thing I wanna mention here is how critical the timing is on brooming concrete. Because if you get it going too soon, it's going to be too rough. And if you wait too long, it's going to be very fine. So I would suggest you you get on, on there with your broom a little earlier and try it out. And if it's too rough and you want a smoother broom finish, you can go right ahead and just trowel it off and let it wait a little longer and then hit it again and have a finer broom. How do you like that? So here I just got a smaller broom and I'm running along the edge of that step because there's some form boards that are in the way of the big broom. So I'm just hitting it ahead of time. You just want to push the broom down and pull it back just like that. It's pretty easy. Wet it in between passes, push it down, pull it back. Comes out real nice if you do it like that. Like I said before, it's all about the timing though. Get the timing right and it'll turn out real nice for you. professional broom wetter right here yeah yeah he's been doing this shit for years <laughs> he's really good at it he's real good <laughs> he's the designated broom wetter guy <laughs> oh. <Don't ever> <laughs> 
He's good. having a great time over there on the new camera. That new new. <laughs> that new new. That new new that we just figured out. <laughs> <laughs> We dropped the camera in the cement. <laughs> brand new camera. The brand new Canon M50 that I spent 600 bucks on fell right into the cement. I think I got video footage of it. Oh, going you into do. The cement. It was awesome. So that was awesome. Now we're back to work here trying to get these stairs done. We, we took the cross braces off the stairs, and if you look at it, it's shaded right to about here. So this part that's in the sun is really dry back there is really soft so if you try to broom this all it wouldn't look the same this would have a very light broom and that would have a deeper heavier broom so what I'm going to do is just broom where the sun's hitting it and then we'll go back when it dries out a little bit hit the other section so the sun's going about there so I'm going to go right to there and then we're going to wait let it dry a little bit because that's kind of behind it so when I broom that it's going to match this because this is right in the sun you can see the sun beating right onto it that's it alright so we did that a little bit a while ago because it's right in the sun so now we're going to we let this dry a while probably 20 minutes we're going to try to hit that and blend it into this so that you don't have a real rough surface up to against a smooth surface.
good? Yep. So we got her all done. This pad dried in about two and a half hours. And we put 2% high early in it and hot water. And it's like 40 degrees tops today. The sun's out, but it's it's windy and it's really cold. But it come out good. We picture frame the edge of it. Hardest part is blending where the shade is up against where the sun is. You can see that line right there. See that line going up the siding? That's where it gets challenging, and right there. That's the shade from the house coming down onto the concrete. And that will change your broom line. So sometimes you gotta take that into consideration because you'll get out here and your broom will be very fine and you'll get in there where it's shady and it'll be very coarse, so it won't look right. This come out pretty good. We timed it pretty good, but it's all about the timing. Not sure how it looks on the video, but we did a fairly coarse broom line on it, but not not really crazy. And this is in the shade, so I mean, pretty decent looking broom. Gets a touch finer out there in the sun, but not much. That's what we got. Some stairs in it. This whole job we had to use the tractor to get the concrete out back, which was in six yards. So that was a little bit of a pain. We tried to use a track buggy, but it was it was splashing too much because it's so high it would splash. So we used the, the the tractor worked much better. We use the tractor and the track buggy a lot to move concrete where you can't get at it. Much better than a wheelbarrow. That's it for today.